Hello, my name is Daria and I'm a software developing engineer at Draft Company. The name of my topic is BIM Playground, Discover, Learn and Prototype with Apache BIM. And today I'm going to tell you about new interactive platform where you can run BIM pipelines. We've been working on it at the last year and I want to start with why we developed it and what was the motivation for this. Then I would like to show a live demo uh, with how you can use BIM Playground. After that, I would also like to show you how you can contribute to the Apache BIM Playground and what needs to be done for this. When you first start choosing a big data solution, what do you look at first? It can be a good documentation, community support, supported programming languages, uh, different settings, uh, integration with other services and clouds, and so on and so forth. But even with all of these parameters, it can be not so easy to choose one of them. Suppose you give a chance to Apache Beam, and what needs to be done then to start to work with it? Um, the first, of course, it uh, requires different installations and setups like any other lang languages or frameworks or SDKs. For example, you need to set up a uh, runner where the BIM pipeline will be executed, and you also need to set up development environment. And here I would like to introduce BIM Playground. Uh, with BIM Playground, you can try Apache BIM without any installations or setups. It supports all of the existing BIM SDKs such as Java, Python, Scala, and Go. And it already has an example catalog with predefined examples that you can just try out of the box. And of course, you can see the results of your execution and you can see the graph visualization of your pipeline. We can go to the PlayBeam Apache org and I will show a live demo on how you can use it. So if you go here to the PlayBeam Apache org, we see the uh, mostly code editor that are split it into two uh, tabs. Uh, here on the left side uh, we see the beam code and on the right side uh, the result and graphic execution tabs. Um, so we have a different elements here. Uh, first we have uh, an element with a drop down menu with uh, uh, all of these examples that I talked before, uh, these examples are divided into three categories, examples, cutters, and unit tests. Uh, it depends just uh, on the location of the uh, example at the BIM repository. And also examples are divided into categories like combiners, filtering, signed inputs, and so on. Uh, for instance, if you want to see how to work with a filtering in Apache Beam, you can just uh, open one of the examples, uh, for example, this one, and you see the code and you can uh, look, look up how the filtering work here. The next element here is the SDK, so it's easy, just Java, Go, Python or Shiva and pipeline options. For some of the examples, you need to specify options uh, that pipelines will run with. Uh, you can, it can be done here with a name and value or uh, as a row text. So this is not the best example, but let me find some other one. Uh, maybe here we have already predefined options. Um, Okay, go to the quick start, word count. Uh, here we have a pipeline options for the output source and row text here. Uh, also, we have a new example that just open a new uh, Apache Beam Playground uh, tab with a, a new uh, code editor and uh, the reset button that would reset your examples to the original state. 
So let's try to run one of the examples. Uh, go to choose the Python SDK and uh, okay, let's uh, find again a word count example. So it's here, probably the most uh, popular example. Put a run button and uh, we see the execution result uh, at the, here. Uh, it is the same as it would be if you run your example at uh, some local environment. It's a console log and graph execution. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, we also have some buttons here, uh, split it window, the, this uh, view or the other view, and uh, dark or light mode, and probably that's all. Okay, let's go back to the slideshow. And here... I want to share with you our further improvements. And um, I selected the most important two of them. Uh, the first is uh, share any code feature uh, where you can just share uh, written by you uh, code snippet that you can uh, send to your colleagues or maybe to share at LinkedIn or somewhere else. And adding a streaming source emulator. This is the next feature. Uh, as a streaming source, uh, currently uh, Kafka emulator is uh, in progress. So I hope soon uh, you will be able to choose uh, Kafka, so, uh, Kafka source um, and to see how to work with it. And uh, the next session, I want to. Uh, talk. Uh, this is a how to contribute to playground examples. Uh, the first, you must be registered as a Apache Beam contributor. You can find the documentation how to do it at the Apache Beam website. Uh, it's not uh, difficult. Just uh, fill up the form and send it to the email. And then you, uh, after you registered, you add new example to Beam repository. After you do it, you mark your example with a special tag. I will show this tag uh, later in this section. Uh, after you do it, you create PR and go through the review and merge of your pull request. And you don't need to do anything else. Just wait for the release of Apache Beam. And when the release new release will be done, you will find your examples in example catalog at Beam Playground. And here I want to show you this uh, Beam Playground tag that I talked. So this is a word count.java file. This is a word count uh, example in a Beam repository. And uh, we have here Beam Playground tag. This is a simple YAML structure. We have a Beam Playground. Uh, uh, words here and then you just need to fill up several uh, fields uh, name description multi-file if you have a one file example or multi-file so true or false pipeline options uh, the default options that needs uh, be added to run uh, the pipeline without errors and uh, context line this is a uh, simply the beginning of the example for convenience of finding it for the users of a playground and also add categories the full description of categories you can find at the beam playground contribution guide and uh, here combiners options and quick start and uh, this way you will see uh, your examples and these categories okay that's probably all and uh, thank you um, please share your feedback if you already used Apache Beam Playground and maybe your thoughts and suggestions on how we can improve it uh, to my email, darimakola.ravds.com. And thank you again and bye bye.